Hey guys. All right. Here's your social studies assignment for Monday and Tuesday. Um, so this is day one and two for social studies. Um, we're starting chapter 10. So this is the comprehension guide. It's typed into a Google doc. So you'll be typing on this actual document that you have in Google Classroom. Again, I tried to make it really clear of where the resources are, what happens if the resource doesn't work, when things should be started, when they should be finished, when they're due, what you should do. So super clear, I hope. Um, so first step, you're going to be reading pages 10.1 through 10.8. Um, so it's all via the ebook for Northern Lights, our usual um, social studies textbook. Um, we do have ebook access now at the link highlighted here for you guys. Right here. So we can do that. Boop. Right here. Um, so this is the link that you're going to click on to go to the ebook. Now, if for some reason it doesn't work, I did screenshot all of the pages of the ebook and I included it as a PDF document in the Google Classroom as an attachment to this assignment. Um, so we have a backup just in case. Um, the same page numbers apply. So it's 10.1 through 10.8, a little bit different than what we're used to. So for day one, for Monday, March 30th, you're going to start the reading and the assignment, the comprehension questions that go along with the book pages. And you need to be done by Tuesday um, by 11.59 p.m. So right before midnight on Tuesday, you need to turn these in. Um, let's just go through it. So instructions, just type your answer in complete sentences, like always. Please no one-word answers. They have to be complete sentences. If you forgot how to do that, use the race strategy. So restate the question, answer the question, cite evidence, and give examples. Okay? So the first section is introductory, introductory section of the actual book. So this is telling you where to find the question, just like our usual comprehension guides. Um, so why were new settlers choosing to move to Minnesota in the years following the Civil War and U.S.-Dakota War of 1862? The next section is called Starting Small in Lincoln County and Changes on the Farm. These are the two questions. You're just describing these two types of farming for me. And again, you're just typing your answers right here. Okay. Um, and then the next section has two questions as well, and it's the sidebar. I believe it's blue. Um, it's called land, how to get it. You're naming four ways a farmer could get a homestead and you're typing this bullet right here. I've got a little period mark to hold the spot for us. And then how did land speculators such as Lewis Fertile make money? Super easy. Just type it again right there. Um, so your job, answer these questions by Tuesday, but right before midnight, turn it in. Um, again, you're going to click up in this general vicinity, it's going to say turn in on your screen, not share like it does on mine. And that's it. Um, again, if you have any problems, feel free to email me. My email is bburton at kcsmn.org. Um, yeah, so I will talk to you later, guys. See ya.